The city of Split on the Adriatic lies below. Its name comes from the Latin palatum, which means palace. This city actually grew from a palace, a palace 16 centuries old. A palace so big it could easily cover six football fields. Diocletian, emperor of Rome, built this for his old age, the most sumptuous pleasure dome of the Roman Empire. The statue of Bishop Gregory stands before its walls. In the Middle Ages, this patriarch protected Christians. Diocletian had fed them to the lions. But ironically, it was the walls of Diocletian's fantastic palace, stretching here block after block, which saved 2,000 Christians from a massacre. And once behind the walls, they stayed, turned the palace into a city, and their descendants still live inside the walls. The largest entrance of the original four gates stands open and welcome. Corinthian columns and arabesques of stone flank the central courtyard. Children play on walls and floors constructed in the year 295 A.D. Long ago, the emperor's mausoleum became a cathedral. A restaurant's tables and chairs cover the marble flagstones of the imperial retreat. Every corner of the Roman Empire contributed some decoration. Egypt, to please Imperial Rome, sent a black granite sphinx that still gazes at the world. If one tires of walking around the largest palace on earth, one can stop for coffee in its courtyard. Ivan Mestrovich, Yugoslavia's greatest sculptor, learned to carve marble in split. Many of his finest works grace a garden and gallery in the city today. Magnificent examples of a master's genius. Mestrovich taught for many years at Syracuse University and at Notre Dame. 